The warmest of welcomes to all of you around the globe. We're just about ready to get going. The players will be with us very shortly. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. anthem of Argentina rings out. Argentina have chosen to go 4-3-3. Yeah, and a system that relies on an industrious midfield to cover the ground. identify as the key man in this fixture? Um, I'll go for Gonzalo Higuain, a, a striker with such an assured touch and whose modus operandi is kind of rolling big centre-backs and unleashing his considerable... Goes for goal! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Higuain really has just learned the lesson there. Your focus cannot lapse, even slightly. Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. Sigurdsson looks like a good ball through. And he shapes the shoots. Forward it goes. Good interception. Shoots! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Yeah, this has been pretty decisive, no doubt as to who the better side is. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Goodison. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tries a through ball. And he's all... Iguain! So what now? Drives it in. Knocks it away. And he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. And he is going into that little black book. to hoof it away. It will be a throw-in. Bento Perez. And it's Higuain. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Going through. Swept in. And the defence can get it clear. He gets! Goal! Argentina! 
and it's Argentina in front. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Argentina take the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Now the pass. Keeper's got good distance on that. Enzo Perez. Just coming up to the 30-minute mark. So they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Argentina have it back and they can go again. Sigurdsson cuts it out. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, the protest continues, but in the end they are defending the indefensible. Messi looking to play it into the box. It's gone for a throw in. Played, he saw that coming. Benega tries to dink it in. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Benega encouraged the pass with an intelligent run, but the pass just lacked pace. Passes it through. Rojo gets into the right position to intercept. Looks to slip it through. Now it's Higuain. He's got away. It's one! In he goes again! And that's it for the first half. A breathless ending. So the team still separated by one goal, but it should be very different. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Argentina head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Well positioned to make that interception. Mendy positions himself well and cuts it out. Jerusalem looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Now it's Enzo Perez. It's Iguain! Gonzalo Iguain! He is sensational! And with that goal comes comfort! Terrific audacity, just gorgeous skill. Oh, look, the keeper didn't know whether he was coming or going in the end, and he just got lost. Argentina have a couple of goals without reply, it's 
Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Di Maria's delivery. He's had a shot! That's a crack at looking to shoot! And that really should have hit the net. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Passes it through. Bilia. But Neka tries a through ball. Iguain! And the ball's come out. Defence has got rid of that. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And Bilia! Saved only by poor finishing. If he sacrifices some power, he may control the elevation. It's a poor kick by the keeper, being intercepted. No, no way through there. Mascherano plays it forward. Now the pass. It's Di Maria. And he's made sure that that won't get through. That's not going to make it. Looks like a good ball through. Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. But Vas, Mascherano battles to win it back. Made certain that won't get through. But Nega passes it through. Perez. Crimson. Chance to break. And it's Perez. Now the counter. Looks to slip it through. Can he finish? They are rampant. And the lead is three! It is surely done! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Without reply, this is becoming a stroll. Goodison. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Iguain played out to the right. Iguain. Belega. And time is up. Argentina, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Argentina simply improved.